explore the legendary legacy of Plo Koon, the ultimate Jedi Master in Star Wars universe. Hailing from the fascinating Keldor species on the helium-rich planet Duran, Plo Koon's unique physiology and cultural background shaped his character and abilities. Imagine living in a world where oxygen is poisonous. The Keldor had to wear special masks to survive off of their home world, with each clan having distinct patterns. With three-fingered hands and a leathery hide, they even had the remarkable ability to endure the vacuum of space for a bit. Join the journey as we unravel the captivating details that make Plo Koon the perfect embodiment of Jedi ideals. Plo Koon's unwavering commitment to Jedi ideals coupled with his wisdom and compassion makes him a shining example in the Star Wars universe. Today, we delve into every aspect that solidifies Plo Koon's status as the epitome of a Jedi Master. Plo Koon, a member of the Keldor species from the planet Duran, had a unique upbringing shaped by the helium-rich atmosphere and Duran gas. The Keldor's need for rebreather masks off-world, their three-fingered hands and leathery hide are fascinating adaptations. Moreover, their clan-based society with distinct patterns adds to the richness of their culture. Imagine oxygen being poisonous to them, a detail that emphasizes the necessity of those rebreather masks, not just for breathing but also to protect their eyes. Born into the Kuhn family, a name meaning explorer, Plo Kuhn's Force-sensitive lineage paved the way for his Jedi journey. Following in the footsteps of his uncle, he embarks on the path of a Jedi, under the guidance of the rare Wookiee Master, Tavaka. This unique pairing left a lasting imprint on Plo Koon's development, as Tavaka's foresight and wisdom became instrumental in shaping his approach to the Force. The strong bond between Master and Padawan, combined with Plo Koon's understanding of the Force and unwavering commitment to the Jedi Way, paints a vivid picture of a Jedi Master who truly stands out in the galaxy. Embarking on countless missions, Plo Koon and Master Tavaka forged a bond through shared experiences that solidified their relationship. One pivotal mission involved a peace summit addressing the Bacta shortage crisis, where they, alongside other Jedi including Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Adi Gallia, accompanied Supreme Chancellor Valorum. Unfortunately, betrayal during the summit led to a perilous skirmish. Claiming the life of Master Taivaka, Plo Koon, although wounded, demonstrated his resilience and managed to save the Jedi. The loss of his master became a turning point for Plo Koon, despite the significant blow. It catalyzed his personal growth, stepping into the void left by Taivaka's presence. Plo Koon not only emerged as a capable leader, but also took a revered seat on the Jedi High Council. Taivaka's teachings instilled in him a profound sense of duty, compassion, and the foresight crucial to navigate the complexities of the galaxy. Plo Koon's journey showcased his profound connection to the Force, highlighting his exceptional mastery over various aspects. Among his notable abilities was a profound skill in telekinesis, enabling him to move objects effortlessly without direct visual focus. As Plo Koon rose in stature, his experiences continued to shape him. The challenges he faced after Tevaka's demise became stepping stones for honing his leadership skills and solidifying his commitment to the Jedi Code. Plo Koon's story is not just one of loss, but of resilience, growth, and the enduring legacy of a Jedi Master who rose above adversity to become a beacon of strength in the galaxy. Adding to his remarkable repertoire, Plo Koon was renowned for mastering an unusual and rarely seen Force technique, known as Electric Judgment. This forbidden skill, distinguished by its yellowish hue, bore similarities to Sith Force Lightning, but stood apart in its purpose. Electric Judgment empowered a user to release controlled bursts of energy, eliminating threats without succumbing to the temptations of the dark side. While Electric Judgment showcased Plo Koon's disciplined approach and deep understanding of the Force, it's essential to note his judicious use of this technique. The first instance occurred accidentally when he subdued a criminal holding a young girl hostage. Reporting the incident to the Jedi Council, Plo Koon emphasized his calm control, absence of anger or fear and the lack of temptation to resort to lethal force. Convinced he acted in harmony with the will of the force, he meditated on the Council's inquiries regarding the ethical use of this power. His conclusion, acknowledging and developing this unique ability was the right path. In response to the Council's request, Plo Koon documented his experiences with electric judgment on a Jedi holocron, contributing to the Jedi Order's knowledge. Beyond this, his extensive knowledge of physical sciences enhanced his Force abilities by intertwining physics with the Force's power. This fusion allowed him to manipulate the environment creatively, from summoning whirlwinds to creating dense fog, freezing bodies of water, and even controlling temperature. Highlighting Plo Koon's multifaceted mastery, his expertise extended beyond Jedi Force techniques. He maintained a unique connection 
to the Baron Doe, a force sect predating the Jedi Order, originating from his homeworld of Duran. This intricate blend of skills and knowledge painted Plo Koon as a Jedi Master with a distinctive and versatile approach to harnessing the Force. In addition to his Jedi training, Plo Koon's affiliation with the Baron Doe brought a unique array of techniques that seamlessly complemented his existing skills. This connection not only broadened his understanding of the Force, but also expanded his repertoire of Force abilities. Plo Koon wasn't merely a Force Master, he earned renown as one of the Jedi Order's most adept swordsmen. Even the formidable Darth Maul, accompanied by his master, acknowledged Plo Koon's exceptional skills while observing Jedi Masters on Coruscant. Plo Koon's mastery of the fifth lightsaber form Sheehan, known for his defensive prowess and potent counterattacks, positioned him as one of the greatest Jedi warriors of his time. Expertise in lightsaber combat made him a formidable opponent in duels with precise blocks, skillful parries, and swift strikes, solidifying his reputation. While the design of Plo Koon's lightsaber wasn't particularly distinctive, his unmatched skill with the weapon set him apart. Early portrayals depicted his lightsaber with a yellow or orange hue in video games and action figures, but later clarifications during the prequel trilogy production established a blue blade for Plo Koon's lightsaber. Throughout his illustrious career, Plo Koon engaged in numerous memorable duels. One remarkable feat was facing the notorious Jedi hunter, Asajj Ventress, with a broken left arm. Despite the injury, Plo Koon's skill and unwavering determination allowed him to hold his own against Ventress, showcasing not only his extraordinary lightsaber proficiency, but also his resilience and resolve on the battlefield. This exceptional blend of force mastery and a lightsaber expertise solidifies Plo Koon's status as a true legend of the Jedi Order. Beyond his inherent force sensitivity, Plo Koon's prowess in piloting set him apart among Jedi. His skill in the cockpit rivaled the best in the Jedi Order, placing him alongside luminaries like Anakin Skywalker and C.C. Tin. Plo Koon's ability to navigate starships with precision, executing daring maneuvers, and make split-second decisions in high-pressure situations marked him as a true master of the skies. His preferred starfighter, the Blade of Duran, adorned with a distinctive blue pattern, became an iconic symbol of his presence on the battlefield. Plo Koon's aerial finesse extended beyond the ordinary, making him a standout pilot of the galaxy. A significant aspect of Plo Koon's life was his special bond with Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. Their connection began when Plo Koon discovered the infant Torgruda during a mission to her home planet. Taking her to the Jedi Temple for training, Plo Koon became a guiding figure, fostering a father-daughter dynamic, naming her the Star Spangled Banner. Plo Koon affectionately referred to her as Little Ahsoka. Their shared experiences during the Clone Wars solidified their bond as they faced challenges and dangers side by side. Their collaboration reached a poignant moment during the Battle of Abrogado, when Plo Koon's cruiser succumbed to the Separatist superweapon, the Malevolence. Despite the destruction, Ahsoka sensed Plo Koon's life force amidst the debris, underscoring the profound connection they shared. Plo Koon and Ahsoka's enduring bond not only showcased the emotional depth within the Jedi Order, but also highlighted the mentorship and familial relationships that flourished in the midst of galactic conflict. Pivotal in Ahsoka's journey, Plo Koon played a crucial role in guiding her through the intricate paths of Jedi training and the challenges of the Clone Wars. When Ahsoka grappled with tough decisions, Plo Koon's seasoned experience and insightful perspective became her compass, aiding her growth as a Jedi. However, their shared narrative took a heart-wrenching turn during the Jedi Temple bombing, where Ahsoka faced false accusations. Torn between belief in her goodness and the evidence presented, Plo Koon found it challenging to accept the notion of her fall from grace. Ultimately, he played a significant role in the difficult decision to expel Ahsoka from the Order. After Ahsoka's innocence was vindicated, Plo Koon and other Jedi Masters extended apologies, expressing a desire to readmit her into the Order. Yet, Ahsoka chose a different path, a poignant turning point in their relationship. This decision, which proved to be their likely final interaction, showcased the complexities of loyalty and individual choice within the Jedi Order. Throughout the Clone Wars, Plo Koon led the 104th Battalion, most notably associated with the Wolf Pack. His second-in-command, Commander Wolf, and fellow members Boost, Comet, Sinker, and Pilot Warthog formed a steadfast unit. The battalion's distinct maroon markings on Phase One armor during the Malevolence campaign became a poignant symbol of camaraderie. Tragically, the Battle of Abrogado led to substantial losses, prompting a color scheme change to flint gray as a tribute to fallen comrades. In this intricate planning of relationships and decisions, Plo Koon's influence on Ahsoka and the sacrifices of the 104th Battalion became enduring aspects of their shared legacy in the galactic conflict. The Wolf Pack, fiercely loyal to Jedi leader Plo Koon, 
found their dedication reciprocated by Plo Koon's unwavering commitment to their well-being on the battlefield. His poignant statement, we're just clones, sir, were meant to be expendable. Not to me echoed his deep connection with his men, evident even on the side of his lat gunships, bearing the inscription, Plo's Bros in Orabesh. During the final days of the Clone Wars, Plo Koon led a crucial campaign on Kato Namodia, tasked with maintaining control while Republic forces eradicated the last remnants of the Separatist droid army. However, the tide turned when Darth Sidious issued Order 66, marking the tragic beginning of the Jedi Purge caught off guard. Plo Koon's starfighter was betrayed by his own escorts, leading to a heartbreaking demise. Plo Koon's portrayal evolved across the Star Wars saga, with Alan Rusko and Matt Sloan embodying him in different films. Intriguingly, early concept art for Revenge of the Sith envisioned Plo Koon wielding a twin-bladed lightsaber gauntlet, showcasing alternative versions for his character. While this concept was in canon, it found its way into some toys. In the Clone Wars animated series, Plo Koon's distinctive voice, brought to life by James Arnold Taylor, added depth to his character. And interestingly, creator Dave Filoni, an avid Plo Koon fan, even dressed up as the Jedi Master for the opening of Revenge of the Sith, embodying the character while handing out candy to eager fans. Filoni's affection for Plo Koon extended to his office, adorned with various Plo Koon memorabilia, underscoring the character's enduring impact. This devotion to Plo Koon even played a role in concealing Luke Skywalker's appearance in The Mandalorian, where Plo Koon's head was digitally inserted onto Luke's body in daily footage to mislead fans, showcasing the Jedi Master's unexpected influence beyond the Star Wars screen. That's it for today's video. If you're interested in more similar interesting content, then do visit our channel. May the Force be with you.